Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, as you can see, we've got two seashells here and a starfish that looks super cute. Um, today I'm going to be painting seashells. So I've got two seashells here. Um, so the first one here is a lion's paw shell. And then the second one, I believe is just a standard seashell. Unfortunately, I do not know the name of that specific shell. And then we have a starfish here. So I'm going to start off by painting this one, the starfish, uh, because I want to start with the simpler one first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ombre pattern on this, which I kind of don't need to plan out, so that's good. Um, and then I'll do this one and we'll end with this one. So let's get into it. So I forgot to mention I'm using some Mod Podge and I have a brush to apply it, uh, so it just makes it easier. I also am using acrylic paint and I'm just going to keep it on this paper. It's kind of going to be like a scrap paper to paint on because this is where I'm going to plan out my sketch ideas as well. So let's get into it. So the first step in doing this is, I guess it would be choosing the colors I'm using. It would be pink, yellow, and blue. So it's going to start off with uh, pink on the tips, going to yellow in the middle, then going into blue. So let's start with the time lapse. Why, hello there. It's voice over me. So while we continue this time lapse, I just want to show you the progress I've made so far. As you can see, I'm pointing at my starfish, and it's a really nice and pretty pastel ombre. And I used a brush to blend in all the colors. And as you can see, I'm holding a golden pen, and I'm adding gold polka dots all over my starfish. So I'm just finishing up adding those polka dots. And... Yeah. Okay, so the next part is, well, removing this Mod Podge seal. So I've taken my brush out, and as you can see, this is a clear 
Mod Podge. It's a liquid one, and it's a clear varnish. I'm removing the seal really quick. And what I'm doing is I'm going to use this pour a little bit all over my starfish. So basically the places in between the arms, because those are a little like harder to cover. And then also underneath it, on the sides, near the tips, and of course on the top. And then I'm going to spread it using my brush and then we'll let it dry for about three hours. Okay, so this is the finished product and I love how it turned out. I love the colors that I used and the gold polka dots as well. That adds a really nice touch. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, so I actually have an idea of what I'm going to do for the seashell. So I'm going to do, I uh, actually sketched out the idea here. So I'm going to do like a, a night sky scene, um, which is something I often do, but I think it'd look really pretty with this because of the colors that I'm using. So I'm going to be doing like a blue, purple, pink, yellow, orange ombre on the background. And then I'm gonna go over it with the black mountains, add a little bit of gray and white highlights, and then I'm also going to add some stars here as well. So that's the idea and yeah, let's make it come to life.
This is the finished product after adding the Mod Podge. It looks beautiful. So this next shell is the Lines Paw Shell. And I'm also going to be doing a dot mandala pattern. So with that, I'm going to be using various different colors, which I'm choosing right now. Um, I want to use colors that really stand out. So um, a bright yellow, this green, orange, this blue, um, red. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna say that I'm using all of the colors of the rainbow. So these ones. So guys, after painting the background black, um, I worked on the first coat of the dots on my mandala seashell, and it's looking so good. So with you guys, I'm going to finish up this last part of it. I'm super happy that I chose this design. It's super simple, but the end result is even better than what it looks like right now. Um, right now, I'm just finishing up the last couple of colors that I need to add. It's kind of hard to add the tiny dots because as the seashell kind of closes in, you can see where I'm adding the dots. It's kind of like in a line. So when it gets thinner, it's get, getting harder to add the dots. But anyways, this is super fun to do. Feel free to skip ahead. Um, I'm not sure what the exact timestamp is. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue doing this and then the next step would be to add the Mod Podge and let it dry. After a short break, voiceover me is back, and as you can see, here I am just adding a little bit of Mod Podge to my seashell just to preserve it so that the paint doesn't chip away. But yeah, this looks really pretty, but let's go see the end result once it's all dry. This is the end result. It looks so pretty. And this is the end result. It looks so pretty. So we have the starfish. I've done the ombre with it and added the gold polka dots. I love how this turned out. It's such a cute pastel color. And then the second one I've also done is the uh, cedary one. Yeah, this one is my favorite. I love how the mountains turned out and the moon as well. I love the detail to it too. And then the last one is the black background and the dot mandala one. And I'm glad that I did the rainbow colors because that looks really nice with this. And also, just wanted to let everybody know, this is all fake. The starfish is not real. I can promise you that. So um, I've also covered these with Mod Podge to preserve it. And yeah. 
Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!